Dr. Rizzo's motivation to help veterans stems from his experiences growing up around Vietnam vets in a small Connecticut town. He watched many of them turn to alcohol as a form of self-medication. They were young men, and they were incapable of living on their own. They didn't get treatment. They got shunned. They got medication. In some cases, shock treatment. Barbaric. So if anything, if you can say anything about war, the one thing that does come out of it that's decent is that it drives innovation in medicine, rehabilitation, and mental health. Every war has done that. Prior to World War II, the field of psychology wasn't a treatment profession. It was an assessment and research profession. It became a clinical profession to take the spillover that psychiatry couldn't handle. The birth of clinical psychology came out of World War II. So did the National Institute of Mental Health. That was created in 1947 on an executive order by Harry Truman to specifically address the challenges of combat neurosis. So, you know, here are two things, the birth of a giant field, clinical psychology, and the birth of a funding agency that has driven the research in mental health out of World War II.